How do I use my flashlight? Oh! This is like some actual terrifying... You know the worst thing about it is too? Is that there's only shift one and shift two. There's no like five nights for this. Like this this is just like throwing you straight into hell. Is that, is that even trying to be like, oh, you got a few nights to work your way into it? Like, no, like, what the hell? Like, this is genuinely fucking disturbing. I have not felt a game, a, a Final Fantasy Freddy's game ever that has made me feel disturbed. And this is the first one. I, I actually feel scared about jumping into this. Like, seriously. So, hello guys, my name is Budigit, and today we're going to be um, popping in <laughs> into Poppy and Buddies. Now, this game, actually, I found out um, due to a YouTuber named Paragate. And he's been doing quite a bit when it comes to the FNAF scene, especially um, discussing and uh, analyzing, uh, I guess doing retrospectives of these games. And he's been doing a very good job of them, um, if anything. So I, uh, I thought, you know, why not give it a shot? And um, in honor of this guy, because he's a great dude. He's been making a great uh, number of videos. I thought I'd give this game a shot um, due to the way he, uh, I more, I guess, more or less advertise it. So um, let's just hope I don't shit my pants. I mean, this is a game that... Um, I don't know, it's, it's an older, I would say, Game Jewel game, but it's... Dude, what the fuck? You saw that, right? His eyelid just fucking opened, like... Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Dude, okay, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> you. Welcome to your new night shift job. This pre-recorded message is used as insight as to what you should be expecting here. So, let's get started. At Buzzing Busy Productions, we always value a safe and comfortable work environment. However, of course, we disregard the idea of slacking off. This is why we put up against our two animatronic mascots, Poppy the Busy Bee and Arnie the Ant. You have been given the necessary tools used in this workspace, and this space alone. Poppy, the character on the far left side of the stage camera, will make its way towards your right entry point. If he so happens to reach you, simply flash and hold your light on Poppy until he decides to move away. What light? Next, Arnie, the character to the right side of the stage camera, will move off the stage at any random interval. Finding him, and pressing the clear and obvious button on the bottom right of your surveillance tablet will send him back to the show stage position. Be aware, Arnie may not be as clear as daylight when moving. That's all. Remember to hold your light on Poppy and find Arnie. Good luck on your new shift training. We're rooting for you. How do you hold your light on him? Someone look it up now, like seriously. You want to be hey, good night, H1s. Seriously, someone tell me how to like, hide my, hold, hold my light on him. They haven't moved yet. Doesn't seem like I have power. Oh, fuck this. What's going on? Yo. Dude, yo, no. Fuck this game, dude. This is, this is reminding me when I first played the original FNAF. And it's, it, you feel you're actually gross. And, oh, God. Dude, it's disturbing. Why are you so fucking creepy? And I think it's just, there's no music at all. Like it, How do I use my flashlight? Oh! Now what? <gasps> Dude, this is like one of the most like... I don't know, maybe it's just because I haven't played a lot of FNAF games lately, but like, this like feels more immersive than any fucking What's that noise? Where the fuck do you go? Boom, bitch! Alright, where, where's the where's where, where the fuck is he? 
No, 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 no. I'm not digging this. I am not digging this. They're terrifying. These are, they are tired. Yeah, blue behind you. Yeah, fuck off. I mean, even when he moved, they made some creepy ass noise. It's just, it's so uncanny. And I, I, this is the shit that, where the fuck did he go? I see you, fucker. Okay, he's gone. Is he back? Yeah, he's back, thank God. Dude, this is the shit that, like, really fucks with you. And I mean, like, really. Where's he go? This, no, seriously, this is the shit that really fucks you. Because it's, it's not like... I mean, I'm sure there are jump scares, but, like, it's it's seeing them looming in. I'm doing wrong. Like, it still is kind of creepy and, like, where the fuck is it? It still is kind of creepy and, like, Five Nights at Freddy's, but, like, the thing is, they're, they're at least in the door, and it's not too, too bad. I don't know why. Yeah, he's right there. Where the fuck I don't see him. It's hard to see him sometimes when he's hiding, though, honestly. There we go. He's... Fuck this shit. How am I doing? Okay, it's three. It's three. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I... <laughs> Bro! Bro! Oh! God! What color is your Bugatti? <laughs> oh! Oh! This, I like this though because I don't feel stressed because of just the economy of like your flashlight and shit. I mean, there's a little bit, but like, I feel more interested in actually like following these characters and being immersed in what's going on. And I'm scared. I am scared shitless. Wait, where'd he go? What the fuck? Did... Where'd he go? Boom. Boom. Sound boom. Sound boom. Fuck. This game is fucking awesome. I love this so fucking much. It's not, it's not even scary that it's... Like, again, the jump scare didn't even get me. It's more the... I mean, it kind of did, but it was more... It's more the lingering feeling that it gives. Like, it, it does such a great job. That lingering feeling is just great. Whoever made this, like, the atmosphere that they built around it, it feels so thick you could, like... You would have to cut it with a fucking Welcome knife. Job. That's how thick it is, man, and it's great. Recorded messages used as insights as to what you should be expecting here. So, let's get started. At Buzzing Busy Productions, we always value a safe and comfortable work environment. However, of course, we disregard the idea of slacking off. This is why we'll be put up against our two animatronic mascots, Poppy the Busy Bee and Arnie the Ant. You have been given the necessary tools used in this workspace, and this space alone. Poppy, the character on the far left side of the stage camera, will make its way towards your right entry point. If he so happens to re- It's just hard because it, it's- I feel like- I feel like I can't really s What does that even do when you turn your light off like that? I wonder. Okay. 
My main issue, honestly, is not anything else. It's just him. When this ant comes, because I can't always see him. So. There we go. Okay. Whoever made this, like, these designs, though, in this game, like, seriously. Like, great job. I, I feel like there is clear inspiration for, like, designs from Teletubbies. Over a Kobe roll. That's fucking. Uh, I'm just like. Oh man. I love how his eyes just like move. It's like. Like it's. It makes it feel like that thing's fucking alive. Yeah. Shit's disturbing, all right. I was right about something behind you for once, right? Found you. It's really hard to see him sometimes, though. Like it's it, it honestly is, and I, I think I think I think if they made it a little easier, that'd be nice. But for the most part, they've done a really good job of this game, honestly. Sound boom. Nice. Timing, timing in this game is important. Very important. But again, dude, I just I love the way I feel immersed in this. It's just this is a good feeling, and it's not too too anxiety inducing, but it's enough to make you feel uneasy. But that's exactly what the, this formula needs, honestly. Like, you should feel scared, and I do. But I don't feel irritated. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like, oh man, this is fucking bullshit. Like this. I see you. The little buddies are moving together. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho, you fucking ho. Hey ho. Hi ho. Hello, you. Fucking ho. Oh shit. Who invited you in here, slut? Get out! Get out of here! Alright. Alright. The boys are back together. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Bow. That's so fucking creepy. I don't like it. You only see parts of his face, like. You don't feel comfortable even looking at him, which is good. It, it's good. It's again they've done a very good job of the game. I would say the first night. Okay, he's it's relatively easy, but th that doesn't mean that it's not enjoyable because it, it definitely is. Like it's more than just that, in my opinion. So, yeah, look, there you are. I'm more worried about the ant. That's all I'm worried about. But like, even that's scary because it's like that little noise is like you know you're on a timer, and if you don't find that fucker, it's like. Dude, don't look at me like that. Dear lord. Oh shit. OW! Get out of my house! Here. I'm not-
no, you've been waiting for me. Wait, did it? <laughs> Let's go! Only I only expect the best for myself, obviously. Obviously. Hmm. That's awesome, though. That's that's fucking awesome. I just th this the atmosphere this thing builds is great. The atmosphere that that built was great. And I felt, I felt, I felt like I wasn't into it. You know, I felt actually immersed. Survive shift two to unlock. Interesting. Okay. All right, here's shift two, baby. Let's see if we can make it. For being a bite-sized FNAF thing, though, I, I feel, I feel pretty into it. Like, I feel very comfortable. Uh, okay. Same location. I think they're gonna add a few more things in because this lane wasn't used at all. I could be wrong. Welcome back, trainee. For your final test, we'll be introducing two new mascots for you to go up against. That's what I Lady the Ladybug, Melissa the Mime, and. Here what? at Poppies, we value employees who are quick to pick up on subtle cues as to keep up productivity. As a result, um. we will be more vague in this message. However, what? we will still tell you ideas on how they work. If you see one, flip down your camera. If you see the other, turn off the light in your workspace. I repeat, if you see one, flip down the camera. If you see the other, turn off the light. That's all. Thank you for joining us, and remember, we're rooting for you. Okay. But there's there's another one. It, it, then it, there's another one. I can see this king hard. Wherever the fifth one was, though. Fuck this shit. Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. What's that noise? What the fuck is that noise? That was close. That was close. No. There you are. It's hard to find him. They hide him really well, so you actually need to like look for him. I haven't seen these other ones though. I don't know what the fuck these other things are. You know, right now, I'm feeling pretty good, pretty safe. Oh shit, he's fucking moving. Let's kill it, let's, let's steal this shit really quick and then, then we'll find the ant. Found you. It took me a bit to see if I could find him, but I'm glad they gave you enough time though. I don't I don't feel too too like I feel anxiety trying to find him, but I don't feel stressed either. 
At least I know what that fucking mime thing looks like now. Jeez, man. <laughs> Facebook moms really want to take a selfie, man. Shit. Fuck. That was hard. Come on. Thing is, I knew where I knew he was coming too, and I, I couldn't. It's hard. We'll get through it though. We'll get through it. I, I like though that like this this game doesn't waste your time either though. Like that was the thing is those felt fun and I didn't feel stressed out playing. Like I kind of felt a little stressed, but like it was like it was more based off technique rather than what what it usually is, which is power source. And I don't like the power source kind of thing. It's just it's kind of boring. But that felt super interactive, and I, I like the new spin they put on it, and especially the animatronics that they have. Like they look fucking terrifying. Like, really fucking scary. Like, I feel like I'm actually immersed in this shit. Like, this is something that, like, I would feel great spending fucking three bucks on, really. So, there's a third one. I found the mime. I know what that fucker looks like. And then I also saw the ladybug. Which, ladybugs... Not bad, it's just, you, you gotta make sure all your ducks in a row, so you can deal with them. If you don't have your ducks in a row, then it's really hard to, like, deal with them, because all these other things are coming right at you, too. I think a little bit of RNG has to deal with it, or deal with it as well, so. Really, though, it's just that ant. That ant is fucking something else, man. Really. Okay. Okay. I really like that they the add no music too to this. Like, it really makes you... It feels a little bit more real. That's for certain. <laughs> fucking vine boom. Okay, ants still there, that's good. Okay. He moved. There you are. Okay. You know what's interesting? Why is there this left lane? Except, like, the only thing, I th the only reason I can even think there's a left lane is for this ant dude. But, like, if, if this bumblebee dude only goes to the right, then what's the point? Unless, like, to the left there is, something actually does come. Boom. Boom, bitch. Okay. I'm ready! Dude, it's so fucking on <laughs> Oh fuck it. Hello? I was gonna say like jeez. I'll wait any fucking longer.
Here we are. That one was easy, so that's that's good. Thank goodness. As long as that ant is always in place, we're we're more or less set. Is that the noises? I think it is. I think I think that noise is that fucking Yeah, baby, I knew it. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm like micromanaging my head. Like, what the fuck do I have to do? Okay, okay, we're. They're both not there. Fuck. Fuck. Sound boom. Oh. That that was Mmm. I feel I feel like my breath is being sucked inside of me. Like it's like oh, that's what it feels like. And what was that thing with the fucking eyes? You saw, you saw that, right? I, I don't even know what the fuck that was. What was that thing with the eyes? What the fuck was that? What extras do we have? What? Well, I'm curious. Where was actually going to bring me to a chart? Like, it's going to be like another fucking game mode. Oh, that's cool. We can go through all the jump scares and shit. That's awesome. So it's like a little main menu thing. I love that. And you can see the whole model, too. I love that. Lady the ladybug? Okay, so the eyes were the mime. Okay, so I was right. I was right. So, that's good. That's good. At least, at least I knew when to put my thing down. And then the ladybug I saw a lot. Okay, good. So, I... Okay, how, how about we just play all the uh, the, the characters? So, so I, I, I'm really glad that they have... Man, they, played, they did this perfectly. Whoever made this did this perfectly. It was bite size. They had, they, they didn't waste your time with the uh, the knights either. They, it felt like okay, here's a knight. Here's actually what's going to happen. Why it's going to feel a little bit stressful. Let's move on to the next one and give you all that usually you get. Because with a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's games, the first really two nights are a waste, and really things only heat up where you can see the full cast at around four to four uh, night four and five. I understand there being some nights where you don't need a full cast, but really a lot of the nights aren't really necessary. And it feels like you're kind of losing out on some of the quality. You could say, you could say it's a buildup, but I, I could also see why it could be boring and you never want it to be boring. And that's why when I played this, like the whole time I was like, what's going to happen? What the hell is this? And, and, and even in the phone calls, it's, I really like the way that they did it where it's like, oh yeah, well. Um, I don't want to spoil what these characters are or what these things are and it really fucks with you It really fucks with you Um, as it, it did for me and I like that. Um, I like how they, they kind of hinted at like a random third Thing Which I'm not sure if it actually is but um, I, I it was really fun. It was really cool and um, I hope you guys did uh, enjoy that. So let's, let's, let's look at all the jump scares Hmm 
That one definitely has to be one of the scarier ones. For me, that one's just a little bit more scary because like how uncanny it is with the eyes. That's not too bad. So no jump scare? Yo, what the fuck? Dude, I can't I can't go back and forth now. Yo. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and reboot it. Hold on. That 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 was so fun though. I I enjoyed every little thing about that game. And that's probably my my favorite FNAF game I've ever played. I'm not even lying. That that had it this has to be my favorite FNAF game I ever played. And I am so glad that I listened to um Paragate because they were completely right. This this game, it, it, the whole thing is that the atmosphere it creates is so grounded and kind of the whole thing screams uncanniness. And it's not trying to make you understand any of it. It doesn't care that you understand. All it wants you to know is that you do this or else. And it it feels like there's weight behind your actions. And a lot of horror games don't do that anymore. I mean, I appreciate everything. Even even this main menu. It feels fucking scary. I feel fucking disturbed when I'm looking at this main menu. Unlike other FNAF games. So I I, I more than appreciated this. I thought it was I thought they did a wonderful job. And this is what it should feel like. This is what it should. So. Alright, let's see if I can get that ladybug. I I, I don't know if ladybug still has. No, they don't have a jump scare. Oh shit, it fucking, it froze up again. Anyways, we'll end it on this. Um, Thank you all so much for watching this. Um, Again, if you guys could, please tell me down in the comments below what you'd like to see again, or maybe what your favorite part was, because this was probably one, this has to be, I'm not even lying, this has to be probably one of my favorite FNAF games, just because of the fact that it doesn't waste your time, it feels bite-sized, yet every moment is impactful, and I did feel like this is where it excels. It shouldn't feel like you're stressed out because of the fact that it's, the economy system where you know you have to conserve your battery life it should be stressful because these things are coming at you and you don't know what to deal with next and the thing i felt right and that really nice about this one is that i felt like it was more based upon technique it didn't feel like oh here's a little bit of rng and that's why you got to conserve your battery at certain points where sometimes you can not control it sometimes you can't this felt great this felt so damn good when it came to uh knowing okay if this happens there's probably something I could have done, um, reaction-wise or timing with uh, these movements that I probably could have done because it's not um, based off an economy that's finite. It's these things are infinite. Well, except for the, the flashlight. But if you fuck up the flashlight that much, I just I don't know, man. I, I think you kind of deserve it. They, they're very generous with the flashlight. So they were trying to find. They were trying to make this more um, disturbing. And I think they hit their mark. I mean, th this is probably the most uncanny I played. And the thing is, too, like, they, they, they really went back to OG FNAF, where it's like, these things feel scary because of the way that they look. Because uh, they could easily, easily be realistic animatronics. Easily. A lot of the time, these scary ones, oh, this fucking scary... All they do is they make these things look sharp and rigid. It's like, oh, wow, I had a bunch of fucking teeth and shit. And that is scary. But that's not what makes it terrifying. What makes these games terrifying is that you trust these little fuckers. And they look normal, but there's something off about them. And that little bit of offness is what really makes it terrifying when that thing's coming at you. Um, one of my favorite parts of this game, and I think they nailed it, is when... Um, when you're flat and I, I, they know that this looks badass. They know it is when you're flashing that flashlight at the uh, the fucking at Poppy and it's fucking pupils are going back and forth and shit. That's terrifying. That's because you know in that very moment that thing is probably sentient at some degree or fucking possessed and it is ready to fuck with you. And it could at any moment. It's just this little flashlight is the only thing that's keeping you and then thing apart. And it, oh god, it, it felt so real and natural. It didn't feel like just a PNG looking at you. So it was, 
I love that. I love that. I wish more of the FNAF games did that where it actually felt like this was a tense moment where you have to hold your breath. That's what this whole thing was. It wasn't like, ah, jump scare. Because that's what most of the FNAF games are. The only thing that's scary about it is the jump scares. That's the only thing. First time they look fucking cute. But this, I, f I held my breath. And that's a sign of a good FNAF game. That's a sign of one. Because you feel stuck. And I, I yeah, I did. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Blue Sunny. Please, if you haven't already, please go check out Paragate. He's a wonderful guy. Um, he's been popping off with YouTube videos. And uh, I, I, I'm proud of the guy. I'm proud of the guy. And um, I comment on a few of his videos. And he's been nothing but polite to me. Nothing but, uh, you know, sweet, sweetheart. So, um... Check them out. Uh, great videos. And um, obviously, check out the game. This is probably one of my favorite FNAF games on God. It doesn't feel like it's wasting your time. It doesn't feel like... It, it's just, it is probably one of the uh, best ones due to the quality. And if you want to feel immersed in a, in a FNAF game and actually feel uneasy, this is it. This is what I point you to. Uh, to. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember, um, smile. Keep right up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, you should do so. And, uh, you know, may maybe maybe I'll save a thousand orphans, you know? Uh, who knows? Who knows? But, um, seriously, please, uh, if you guys could, it'd mean a lot to me. Uh, please subscribe. And, um, as always, well, keep it up. And uh, let's fight for a future so bright. So your eyes. My name is Blue Sanel, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Whoop. Uh, subscribe yes. to Blue Digit. What? Do it now. Hello. You are a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Blue Digit uh -huh. or else.